board, and Mark Vidal is able to pull it down. We know Baylor's got a good backcourt. Here's that speed. Look at that right there. Call him, sometimes Grizzly, sometimes Teddy. <laughs> That's a deep jumper off the mark for Davion Mitchell. Good. Oh, totally agree. Good. Christian Brown at Kansas. I love his energy. Harkless at Oklahoma. Brock Cunningham at Texas. I agree. Davion Mitchell adds to the Baylor lead. So big and so strong, and they use every inch of the playing surface now. Would you widen the court? Would you lengthen nope. it to respond nope. to the bigger, faster player? Nope, I wouldn't. By the way, Matthew Meyer getting started. The team is chasing its first conference title in 71 years. Taz Sherman fouled on a reach in by Davion Mitchell. Got to recognize that shot clock. Did not reset. Down to five. Davion Mitchell. Shoot. One on one. There's the step back. And there's yep. the three. When he starts to measure the defender with the with his dribbling. Their first six from three-point land this afternoon. They look sharper, Bob. One of the things that happened in that time period, another senior year. I think it's a good idea. Take advantage of the of what the NCAA has laid out and uh, continue to play college basketball. Shirt year here instead of going to high school. Practice against our guys every day. He has really made a great performance as a freshman. Good look inside. That's a breakdown. You know, we're talking about how good Baylor has been from three. They're and then watch Mark Vidal right here. This is just a breakdown defensively. Two guys running with one. Standings, all I can think about, Fran, is anticipating you, me, and the rest of our crew in Kansas City to call the Big 12 tournament during Champ Week next week. Oklahoma State team. An offensive foul on Culver. Angered the crowd. Now a takeaway by Jalen Bridges. That one's in and out. Another offensive rebound. And a hustle play by Baylor to keep it alive. That three won't go for Davion Mitchell. But another offensive rebound by a guard in Flagler. The follow by that. Meyer and he missed the bunny and he can't believe it. The rim is open. They had him. From the corner, it is good before halftime. Butler with a step back that gives Baylor a little bit of momentum. On you, Bob, I haven't been through a COVID pause, but I've been through, you know, situations like this with the adversity, and your team starts to doubt a little bit. I don't care how good you are. Here's McBride out of the double team. Osaboyan with a cross-court pass that sets up Bridges. He missed everything, but a foul's going to be called on the weak side. For Dennis Rodman on the court. <laughs> Good clarification as Jalen Bridges will go to the free throw line. See, right now it's all one on one for Baylor. The ball's not moving. Davion Mitchell, he's in trouble. Four on the shot clock. It's a takeaway and a flush for Emmett Matthews. Eric Martin over to see Sean McMeal. I told you the story. He left Bellarmine after two days on campus. And what an addition. Big basket by Flagler. This is going to be good. Emmett Matthews lost his footing. Here comes Davion Mitchell. Gives it up. Flagler. Just rolls it off the front of the rim and becomes the first player for either team to pick up his fourth foul. Remember, Culver's got three, Bob. Davion Mitchell out of control. The loose ball, though, to T. Mitchell spots up, knocks down a three. Big. Matthews beaten by Meyer with a hustle play, and it's going to be a cruise in layup for Davion Mitchell. Think about it, Bob. He rarely misses those shots. Floater by McBride, too strong. Been guarded by Vital. Osaboyan bounces it low to Deuce McBride. He's double teamed. Gets tied up. Forces one up. That close to a three point play opportunity. Green for him. He sends it to the corner and gets it back. Deuce McBride for three. That was blocked on the way in. Will Baylor use a timeout? They will not. They'll go to the rim and get stopped. Vital ends up on the baseline, shaken up, and now Baylor has to give the foul. This kid because he can coach him every day, yell at him on occasion, and the kid never reacts negatively. Big miss.
It, now yep. you're, Scott Drew, you calling a timeout here? Not necessarily. Not if you can get the ball and go. Together a while. Now, this is interesting. Little full court pressure here. What I don't like about this is it opens up the court. They'll get it to Butler. Ten seconds to go. I'd go now. And he will. In the mid-range. He'll drive it and tie oh, it up man. with two seconds remaining. Woo! And Meyer comes away with the loose ball, and Butler spins free. Maybe on Mitchell. That's, that that, 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 that should be a block. Call. I don't understand that you could have that much contact on a drive with a player airborne to the rim and not have a call there. There's a three from the corner Man. for Butler. Set play. Arguably the two best teams in this league all season. And they're playing like it. One minute to go in overtime. Told Taking you. his man is Davion yep. Mitchell. Take him. Take him. Take a look now. Watch the watch Mitchell. This is Mitchell. I mean, this is he's been doing this all year. You talk about a kid that's improved since he arrived here, but it's close. He was definitely legal. It's the right call. Shot clock has turned off. Backcourt pressure from the Mountaineers. Mitchell gets it across, and now the foul given by Jalen Bridges with 18 seconds to go in overtime. These teams may meet next week. Both of them are heading to the tournament. We may be watching a little history right here. Let's play today. This is unbelievable the way they've competed. 18 seconds to go. And it looks like a timeout will be called. Now we're yeah, down to eight seconds to go. Here's McNeil, 4-3. That's no good. Tapped around. Bridges has it, but time's going to run out on the Mountaineers. What a win for Baylor. Welcome back to the Baylor Bears. They are the champions in the regular season of the Big 12. And as we said, it is their first conference championship in 71 years. You think Scott Drew knows it?